Hi guys, so today you're probably wondering why I've got no makeup on whatsoever and my hair's like this. Um, I'm going to be doing a Primark, ignore the big bag, I did buy other things, um, but a Primark first impressions for the makeup. Um, I bought quite a few little items, the only things that I didn't buy were brushes, I bought one face brush, um, so the rest I'm going to be using my own and the other thing I bought I didn't buy was powder just because they didn't have my size, my size, my colour I meant, um, and mascara as well but everything else I bought today um, so I thought I'd just do that for you. Um, my hair is like this purely to get it off my face because it would just get on my nerves but um, yeah I hope you enjoy and I will be talking through um, whilst I am doing the makeup so you'll be able to know what shades I got and what I'm thinking really as I'm doing it. So yeah. Right, so I've just zoomed you right in so that you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I'm going to start off with a base. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more just so you can see. Um, for my base, I've got a Strobing Highlighter Cream. Um, I am aware that most people would probably just wear this like where you would normally highlight but I am going to give it a try all over and see see if it gives us that dewy glow that I'm after. Um, it looks alright product wise. Um, it's just got a pinky tone. There was quite a few colours to choose from. Um, I think there was a white packaging, this pink one and a more tanned one. Um, so I'm just applying this with a Morphe Stippling brush. It doesn't really have much of a smell, so at least it doesn't smell horrible. I'm just going to put this on my eyes as well. So overall, so far to give us quite a dewy look, um, which I'm rather happy about. Um, as for foundation, I went for this My Perfect, is it My Perfect Colour? And it's a medium coverage semi matte finish. And it has vitamin E in, if you're really bothered. And I got this in cool sand, but I'm really not sure what this colouring is going to be like. Um, and as for concealer, I, the only one that I could find um, was a stick concealer, which again is my perfect colour. And I got this in no, oh, ivory. Got this one in ivory, and it's just a classic stick concealer, so I'm not really sure. I wouldn't normally go for a stick concealer, so. Not too sure how that's going to go, but um, I am going to start off by priming my eyes. Just need a mirror. So I'm going to use, even though I have just put that on, I am going to use this to prime my eyelids. Like I said, I would never normally go for a stick concealer. But we'll just give this a shot. I mean, the colours... Not too bad. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. There. That's my eyelids primed and I will set it a little bit with one of the eyeshadows that I bought. So for eyeshadows I just picked up the class as the custom I don't know if that's gonna show you uh, custom eyes um where it's a bit like the NYX ones where you can choose several different colours and there was a palette to put them in however I thought just for the sake of this video I wasn't gonna bother buying the actual palette but I think it was like three pound and these eyeshadows were 60 pence each like have you ever seen an eyeshadow cheaper than that because I haven't so I got the first one is in just a white 
um, glistening white colour and that is called Ice just for the inner corner and brow bone um, the next one is like a champagne colour and it's called Naked which is very similar to an Urban Decay eyeshadow the next one I got is actually this is one of my go to colours in the Naked Heat palette so I was drawn to this one and this one is called Brick and then finally for the outer corner it's just this dark brown and that is called Espresso so I'm going to give those a whirl and see what they're like I'm going to start by just setting slightly set, setting that concealer on my eyelid and I'm just setting that with I'm not setting the whole lid I'm just setting this part of the lid the front bit I'm just using the shade I don't know if you can see but the concealer has started to crease already which is great um, I'm using the shade naked for this part The R, I wouldn't say it's very pigmented. I mean, it's slightly sh shimmery, but nothing major. Um, next, I'm going to take the colour Brick and I'm just going to run that through my crease. Um, as for Fallout, there is quite a bit. Um, but we're just going to go with it and see what we end up with so I'm just gonna tap the excess off and I'm just gonna do small circles into my crease and blend it up this is actually blending really well for a 60 pence eyeshadow I mean <laughs> Just a little brush from one of the Urban Decay palettes in the darker brown colour and I'm just going to put that into my outer corner and blend it through. The fallout on this is very minimal, I've just pressed, this is quite a dense brush as well and there's not much product. There's loads coming onto the brush as you can see but there was not loads falling out so I suppose that's always a bonus. So I'm just going to put this into my outer corner and blend until I'm happy. Getting a little bit longer to blend. But we're getting there. blended quite well um, now I'm gonna go in with the champagne colour again and just put that do the front half of my lid I 
I'm not going to cut the crease because, I mean, we've only got that stick concealer and not really sure how that would go down. Um, for my brows, I'm going to be using this PS 3-in-1 eyebrow product. Um, I do use this anyway because my NYX one ran out and I'm... I think it was Holly Boone who was on about this and she said it was actually quite good so I thought I would try it out. <laughs> colouring in Primark isn't great I mean there's not that many shades to choose from so at the moment we're just going to improvise with what we've got right so I've finished my brows as you can see it is slightly too dark but we're just gonna go with it because I mean I think it was £2.50, maybe £3. Actually, maybe it was even £2, but I'm not too sure. But it wasn't expensive and it's created the same look as my next Brow Wiz product did. So now I'm going to move on to my face. And like I said before, I bought the My Perfect Colour Foundation. Um, I'm not too sure what the colour is going to be like because I've got tan on and it could just go any way really um we'll give it a try okay right so this is the shade and my face obviously isn't the color of my hand so we'll just keep going see what it's like i did buy one brush and it's the double ended foundation brush and then it's got a little concealer brush on the other end so I will give this a try as well I mean it says medium to full coverage I would say that is probably correct however I do normally like a full coverage foundation. That second layer has evened it up a little bit um, and it has made it slightly fuller coverage on me. Move on to my concealer again um, and I'm just going to apply it from the tube just under my eyes. <laughs> Um, like I said, when it came to powder, there wasn't any that were my colour. So I am just using this Revolution Lace Powder, um, Luxury Baking Powder. So I'm just going to pop this on. Now I'm going to go under my eyes with my colours that I've used on my eyes. So I'm just going to go back in with the transition colour and run that under my eye. One thing I didn't get was... Uh, eyeliner so we're just not gonna we're just gonna do without the lashes do have a thin like um a thing a thin band so we should go on to contour that's one thing that Primark did lack in um so I ended up getting a concealer which I'm just gonna improvise with um 
and I got it in the shade Caramel. So I'm just going to give this a whiz. <laughs> The shade. Please bring out some more shades because this just does not. Is it kind of looking better? Maybe slightly. So I have blended that in off camera because it was taking forever. So Primark do need to up the contour bronzing game so I am just going to top it up just because I'm looking a bit on the pale side compared to the rest of my body with my Too Faced um, bronzer because this is my favourite just to bronze us up a little bit. Um, okay so I have popped my eyelashes on off camera just to save a little bit of time because this video is going on. Um, they were just the full look false eyelashes with the glue included and they were one pound um, the next thing back to face the last thing for the face was this highlighting palette which I was most excited about called pure glow and it comes with these four shades looks similar to another retail highlighting palette so I'm just gonna oh my god This cannot be real. Can, I, can you see that? Can you see that? I'm going to try the white in the cup. Sorry. Sorry. Can you see that? The last thing I am going to try is, I think this is a new range, the PS Nudes, which looks very familiar. There was only some glosses to choose from and the others were liquid lipsticks but I'm a fan of the gloss at the minute so I thought I would go with this. So this is the finished look. I mean for Primark I am pretty impressed. This highlighting palette is probably my new favourite and we'll be using it every day. So. Um, so if you did enjoy it then please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and let us know down below any ideas for what is you, for what you would like us to do in the future so i hope you enjoyed